Okay, so you've made your project and you've decided that you want to send some information from one unit to another. You might want to turn on a light remotely, you might want to send some readings from a temperature sensor, and you think, how can I do this? Well, luckily enough for you, there's these really cheap 433 megahertz transmitter and receivers that you can get, and they cost around three pound. Uh, probably get them even cheaper on AliExpress. So today we're gonna to show you how to send data from the Arduino Uno over to another circuit with the Arduino Nano. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna build the transmitter circuit. We're gonna use the Uno and we're gonna use this breadboard here. So we're gonna plug the transmitter into the breadboard and we need to give it some power. So negative, positive, and then the output is going to be through the third pin on the transmitter. So we'll plug negative into negative, positive into the positive. We're going to make this rail positive and negative on the uh, breadboard. Negative to the Arduino, ground I should say to the Arduino. Five volts to this rail here. And we're going to use pin 12 for the uh, for the data. Okay, so to power this, we're going to plug on a breadboard power board just for now. And then we need something to send. So we're going to plug in a switch, a push button, I should say. All right, one side of that is going to be attached to ground. And let's use pin 13 on the Arduino to receive that signal. All right, that's the transmitter set up. Um, so all you need to take away from that is that on the transmitter, you've got ground, positive, and then data. Plug that back in there. All right, put that one side for a moment. Let's get another breadboard for the receiver side of things. Going to uh, plug in the Nano. Really simple stuff, this. We're going to have the... Um, Let's have the receiver down here, like so. Okay, so we're gonna take, plug into the five volt pin on the Nano, take that up to the rail up here. Similar with the ground, two pins across. And then we're gonna wire the five volt over to the last pin on the receiver, which is this one. Same with the ground, which is the first pin. Now we're doing it behind just so that there's a, an unencumbered uh, direction for the signal um, to, so that you know, none of the wires interfere with the, the signal. It's probably best to do that in your project as well. Uh, and then the, the second pin is our data pin. I'm gonna plug that into pin number two. On the nano, uh, and then we need some way to to know that we've received the signal. So, I'm just going to wire up a little LED here. That's going to just a resistor to uh, make sure we don't pop the LED. So, what, what's going to happen is when uh, the nano receives a signal, the, the the signal that we tell it to listen out for, it's going to activate pin number three which is going to send a positive signal over to the LED. All right, that should be it. So let's power everything up. First, we'll power the receiver. Okay. Power to the power, the, the uh, breadboard power. Turn this on. Okay, so now when we press the button on the transmitter, we get a reaction on the receiver. Now these have got quite a good range on them. I've been right to the bottom of my garden, which is whew, um, 30 feet, something like that. Uh, so it can easily go from one room in a house to another, sending your data across. Uh, the way that I'll leave the code for both the transmitter and the receiver in the description, as you can see from the code, it just sends the word one. And this listens out when it receives the word one, it lights up the LED for half a second. 
Um, you can make it listen out. You can make these different things send different words. Uh, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. It doesn't have to just have to be. Well, the point I'm trying to make is it doesn't have to just be one thing that it's listening out for. You can have like four switches here, and it could like four different LEDs up depending on what it receives. Or you can send numbers if this is a, a thermal sensor. It can send over the reading every you know every second or whatever. You could have a screen here displaying that reading. Possibilities are endless. So hopefully that. Uh, helps you um, set up and use the 433 megahertz transmitter and receiver for Arduino. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.